517 back over to Michelle now sunrise in a couple of minutes but we are already seeing the uh, pre dawn glow gorgeous picture there behind Michelle right now. Now the colors are really pretty this morning. Just a little bit of high cirrus cloud cover uh, that is uh, creating some of those really pretty colors here as we await our sunrise happening uh, in about five minutes. Looking at our temperatures right now, we're in the 40s in most spots. It's a cool start to the day. 48 in Boston. Providence is at 47. New Bedford's also in the 40s. Newport at 50. 51 Narragansett. Richmond, you're in the upper 40s in Smithfield. One of our chillier spots at 43 degrees. I expect it to even be a little bit cooler when you wake up tomorrow morning. So some chilly winds on the way for today. All in all, it's a nice looking day. The temperature is between 60 and 65. We see a lot of sunshine. It's just those gusty winds that'll be adding to the cooler feel. Mainly dry week ahead. Wait till you see the seven day forecast with a warming trend by Friday, especially I have our temperatures well into the 70s. Looking at Tropical Storm Arthur right now, we've had some of that high cloud cover clipping our area overnight and early this morning as Arthur makes its uh, closest pass and it's about 300 miles out to sea and continuing to move to the east right now, 15 miles per hour. Did strengthen a little bit, 60 mile per hour sustained winds right now. It's going to turn away from the United States coastline back towards the southeast and pass close to Bermuda by about Thursday evening and Thursday night. And at that point, even later today, we expect this to become an extra tropical system. It'll start to lose some of those tropical characteristics and gradually weaken over the next few days. Meanwhile, this morning locally, we've got dry air in place. The temperatures making that quick climb under mostly sunny skies. So by 7 a.m. we're back up above 50 degrees and then near 60 by 11 o'clock in the morning. Normal high this time of year pushing 70. We're not close to that today, but we will see some lower and possibly even some middle 60s away from the ocean's influence here under that east northeast wind westerly in the middle 60s West Warwick at about 64 situated 62 when socket low 60s East Providence 63 today and we'll be between 60 and 65 in Seekonk Fall River and Westport a little bit cooler the further east that you go so Boston today struggling to hit 60 degrees under that wind direction it's out of the east northeast and sustained winds close to the coastline about 15 to 20 miles per hour and you can see this has us having some wind gusts over 30 miles per hour this morning 1230 in the afternoon we're still we are still gusting 20 to 30 miles miles per hour with some gusts to 40 along our islands and we'll see those gusty winds continue into the evening hours before the winds will start to diminish overnight tonight. So enough wind to have us under a small craft advisory for the bay and a gale warning for the sound winds gusting to 30 knots in the bay waves one to three feet. High tides at 630 this morning. So high pressure building in from the north is going to keep us dry over the next few days. Really unsettled pattern here for the Midwest down into the southeastern United States. They've got some flooding concerns, but for us it's cool and dry air here across New England. So as we look at our forecast for the next couple of days all the way into and potentially through Memorial Day, we've got a dry stretch of weather. Lower 60s today and again tomorrow by Thursday, upper 60s Friday afternoon highs in the mid and upper 70s and it comes with sunshine. So it's a nice kickoff to the long weekend for many folks Saturday and Sunday highs upper 60s to lower 70s and right now Memorial Day looks dry and near 70 degrees.